Today on the show, we got bodybuilder Roan Kardashian. Pretty big guy. I have, I have a question for you. Why is your last name Kardashian? Uh, that's actually my real last name. Really? Do you, are you related to Kanye? No. <laughs> no, no. I'm not related to the Kardashians at all, but I am. Uh, I do share a last name. Dog? Oh, no. What do oh dude. So there's been uh, accusations of you like going on Roy, so we have to test you. But, okay. Like, I'm not trying to get Roy. How do I do it? it? Can he, yeah, let, let him swab you real quick. Okay. <laughs> I did not know this was happening. Um. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, and you gotta piss in a cup too. Okay. Um, if that's okay, so we'll go to the bathroom. I can't tell if this is serious. No, like, you gotta piss in a cup. Bro. All right, let's do it. Take your time. All right, who do I give this to? You're, dude, you're pretty big, bro, so I was just wondering, like, how are your legs? Small. <laughs> I have a cast machine out there. Um, um, okay. Every rep is one minute of haircut time. What do you think? On the calf if machine. If I do rep, what? one rep is one minute of haircut time. Let's go, come on. All right. Oh, this is pretty f heavy, bro. Ow, it's fucking hurting. <laughs> what is up with this thing? All right, here we go. <laughs> it was a hundred dollars. <laughs> Such a piece of sh All right, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, pretty eleven, heavy. fifteen, <laughs> sixteen minutes, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right, one for good luck. All right, 21. What do you want to do with the hair? Are we, are we buzzing it? Or okay, what? no, no, no. Um, so if you could just do like, honestly, like, probably like the lowest fade possible. Okay. Like maybe a little so higher than that. you want me to just fade into this length right here? Yeah, exactly. So if you can see the where the fade was, like I got a fade like, I don't know, five, six days ago. Mm -hmm. So if you could just follow the line. Yeah, I can And do that. then if you could just like make it curved on the, uh, like on the inside. Okay. And then with my beard, I could show you a picture as I well. I mean, I'm assuming this longer, shorter. Right, yeah, in. if you could just like fade it. All right, I mean, you're on the clock. I'm on the clock? Yeah, you're on the clock. How much do you spend on haircuts every week? That's why I spend 80 a week, so 320 a month, yeah. So why, why do you do it every week? Uh, uh, just because, to be honest, um, it's like you know, look good, feel good. Yeah, that as well. And then like, bro, especially so like, bro, I started getting haircuts with like this when I was like 15 in high school. My boy um, would give us all $10 haircuts. So like, bro, that was like my come up. Bro. Exactly. That was, yeah, like, what I was that's doing. the start of it all. You know yeah. what I mean? I've been getting haircuts like once a week for like since I forever, bro. Since I could fucking imagine. Yeah, bro. Especially you know doing the shit that I do um, with TikTok and stuff. I always have to have a fresh feed for when I'm like videotaping and shit. Yeah, so, yeah, like, yeah. It's good because it's then it's continuity as well. You can repost yeah. something from a while ago. Oh, 100%. They won't even know. 100%. And then also just like, bro, you know what I mean? Like, you never know when you're gonna see a girl, or you never know when you're gonna go like. I am a very impulsive person. Like, I don't know if I'm gonna go out tonight. You know what I mean? I could go out tonight, you know what I mean? So like, I kind of have to always have a cut. You gotta be dialed in just in case you see your wife at the club or something. The hair accommodates the, it yeah. complements the physique too. Like the better, the slimmer your face, the better you, you know what I mean? I actually have some questions written out for you. <laughs> what else is um, this? <laughs> yeah, so kind of on that topic, you were just talking about women, right? Keep in mind, these questions are like, don't take this seriously, it's just for content. Of course, of course, bro. Um, yeah, with that dude, being I'll said, never... you, you, you once said you would slay hella pussy with the LA baddies. Um, right. I don't... Why did you say that and what does that mean? If you want to be a high value man, you have to be surrounded by high value women. Would you say the, the women in LA are actually high value? Cause they make it seem like it, don't they? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what would you say is a high value man? A high value man is a guy who protects and provides for his girl. A high value man is also like a one percenter. So if you're good at what you do, people think like you have to be a billionaire or be this or be that. You could be a one percenter or a high value man. Or you could be a garbage man. That's you could be a barber. Yeah, you could be a barber. You could be a fucking janitor. You know what I mean? But it, I hate that term to be honest. Like high value man. Like you know the whole like bullshit. We'll probably get demonetized now that I said that. It's okay. Uh, we'll, we'll have to cut we'll, that. We'll blurp it out. We'll um, but like yeah, it's just like uh, I would honestly personally say just high value man is just a guy that every girl wants. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Even though whatever the f they say, these girls with blue hair and nine. F piercings in their nose. They'll tell you not, but yeah. You can't, you can't out, uh, outrun evolution, as they nah, say. Hell no. Dude, how long you been in the gym for? Too long, brother. Too long? <laughs> nah, I've been actually... Uh, oh, wait, how old are you first of so all? So I'm 27. Okay. I've been in the gym since I was like 19, 20. Okay. So I've been in the gym around seven years, seven, eight years, but I've gotten hurt. You know what I mean? I've taken like six months off from January to May-ish, April-ish this year. Like I didn't work out once. Mm -hmm. Like I actually worked out once a month just to get content. Um, okay. Probably the follow-up question, how long have I been doing steroids? I've been doing steroids since I was like 23, 24. So okay. I've been doing juice for like three, four years. Are you on trend right now? No, I've actually never done trend. Oh really? Um, yeah, but I've done every other 
than steroid, to be yeah. honest. What was yeah. your favorite? That's a tough one, bro. So like steroids, a lot of steroids give you different looks, mm -hmm. and a lot of steroids, it yeah, depends dryness, on- Yeah, dryness, water, you know, right. I lift a little bit. Hey, exactly. back in my day, I squatted 500 no, pounds. this is the Lance Lifter. This is the Lance yeah, Lifter. Yeah, man, back in my day. <laughs> They're all good, yeah, but it just all really depends on like your, um, where you're at. And, like this year when I did my competition, that was the best I've ever looked in my life. When, the most what, shredded. What, what, uh, men's physique? Yeah, I did men's yeah. physique in December. Um, Small legs. Yeah, yeah, right. Fuck it, bro. No, I've never, I've never had a girl say, wow, your legs are so nice. Can we go fuck? That's never happened <laughs> ever. Girls like abs and a, just a tall guy. You know what I mean? Yeah. What uh, happened outside of Gold's gym? Yeah, there was huh. a video that went around. Uh, yeah, that video about you getting jumped. I faked getting jumped. Uh, so a lot of people really- oh, So you didn't actually get no, jumped? No, no, no. They would need more than two TikTokers to beat me up. You know, uh, I'm not. I'm not being a tough guy. I got canceled probably like a year in. A couple of kids like photoshopped DMs about me and tried like uh, just like kind of getting me canceled. Um, but like honestly, my business, my views, my everything was the highest of all high. So uh, I would be down to get canceled again. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, that's the vibe I'm on, bro. <laughs> I'll run it back. Cancel I'll get canceled me. again. I don't give a shit. Speaking of bad experiences, who's Connor Sinnon? A little bit of guy. Connor now. Sinnon. I wouldn't. Uh, I personally wouldn't want to get that kid any more clout who what, what, but what's he he's on? just a fucking weirdo pathological liar who just made videos on me and then yeah he's a fit talker just like me or not really bro he looks like shit um so i wouldn't necessarily call him a fit talker or whatever the fuck you want to call him <laughs> a lot of people use my videos to get views and a lot of people use me to try to make money and shit so that kid's just the uh prime example of that he just wants to get views and money off of me. He's made like six, seven videos on me, all, all lies. Never a single thing on the internet have you guys seen about me is true. It's fucking weird, man, but I roll with the punches. I don't yeah. really give a fuck. No, yeah, because I would see, I, would, I remember I used to see your shit, and then I met you at Gold's at one time, and I was like, dude, this guy's like actually chill as fuck. Oh, bro. yeah, dude. Everyone thinks I'm like the biggest asshole in the world. I've never once left a negative comment on any videos. Mm -hmm. uh, people fuck with me, they hate on me, and I just shit on them back. Mm -hmm. I love to talk shit. Um, it's like a fucking, I love it. Like, if you want to talk shit to me, bro, you better be prepared to get shit talked back. Dude, we should have brought Connor Sinnon in here, man. What? Yeah. <laughs> nah, he wouldn't want that. Imagine he pops out, yeah, like, right now. Would. You did content with that kid, Marshall Cruz. That's your boy, right? Yeah. He's another one. Just He's makes enough. videos on me. Marshall makes videos yeah. about you? Yeah, fucking weirdo. I mean, I know you're cool with him or whatever. I know you, you guys are cool with him or whatever. So I'm a zoo culture. I'm like, yo, what's good? Let's get it rocking. Like, yo, you don't like me? You know, let's, let's do something about it. He's like, I'll sue you for $200 million, bro. Do not touch me. I'm like, the fuck was Marshall? that? <laughs> I'm like, Marshall brought out the lawyers? What? I'm like, oh, okay, what, is that a thing? Is that, is that like something he does? No, it's first I've heard about it. Oh, it's just surprising. Yeah. yeah, it was just super weird, yeah. Like, yeah, I mean, hey, listen, I have no problem with that kid, never had a problem with him, he just made videos on me. Obviously, I, I don't know why, but, yeah. Mm -hmm. What the fuck? Is that uh, thunder, bro? You saw what that thunder? What the fuck? You mean the lightning? The lightning, yeah. yeah. Fucking idiot. Holy shit. Yeah, I love that you guys are prepared and stuff and asking me questions. I love this. I did not expect that this was going to be Cookie's like this like at all. like in the dark. You're blending in. Oh, fuck. Yeah, so I've tried to fight two people off TikTok. It never happened. Never. So, yeah, I pretty Dude, much I mean, gave up yeah, on that. No one's really going to follow through yeah. with that. Maybe do like a real boxing match. I would do that if I got paid. Yeah, yeah. Fuck Sell yeah. tickets and stuff? Yeah, fuck yeah. I would do that. Let loose? I would fight Bryce Hall. I know they're looking for someone to fight him. Like, I know he thinks he's like this bare big, knuckle. tough guy. Did you do the bare knuckle shit? Nah, that shit's a little bare. Bro, that shit's a little. Uh, what do you think about him doing that? I mean, I think he's a beast for doing that. I think that I have nothing against Bryce Hall. I think Bryce Hall is cool. Yeah, I don't have any problems with anyone. I don't have any. I don't have enemies. Like I. Love yeah, everyone. yeah. It seems like you just go after people who go after you. It, yeah, but. Poke the bear, um, get yeah. attacked. Poke the bear, see what happens. <laughs> what else you got for me? I'm down for these questions, yeah. Who would you say is your least favorite gym influencer besides Connor and Marshall? Who really fucking grinds your gears? Like who's exposed? Let's get all the exposed. No, right I, I'm not gonna say a single, I'm not gonna say anyone, any name or anything like that. Just because, like I said, I don't need to give any more, anyone any more clout. Okay, how about you describe something? So right, I'll, I'll describe to you what my, so in, in my personal beliefs, I think the entire fitness influ influence, space, niche, whatever is all f crazy. This is so crazy. Everything about it is That's crazy. why I start, I used to make, like, to be more hard, into bro. it, but now I, like, don't It's at hard all. to stay in this shit and not get, like, that fucking cringe out. I'll tell you, okay, so my worst type of video is when you see, like, a 12-year-old doing, like, 
tricep extensions like a fucking idiot. And then like they're walking in the background and they're like, hey bro, can I help you? Like clearly all set up. Oh, clearly all I know, I know exactly you know what I'm what saying? You, yeah, it's you know like the guy in the saying, bench, right? boom, boom, yeah, boom. Right, and it's like, hey man, can I help you? And then like, it's you in the fucking crazy. The music. Yeah, sad, the sad music. Like, <laughs> like, it's just so corny. On the girl side, bro, just like any girl that's shoving a camera up or a Bro, it's just so insane. Like, I get it, bro. I mean, dude, like, the OnlyFans check is pretty fast. If that makes you money, bro, I have nothing against it. I don't, I'm not gonna be dating an OnlyFans girl, or I'm not gonna be associating myself with one. I mean, I'll f one. I them all the time obviously being what? here it's it's just the classic marketing funnel you know like well that's the thing it's for views and shit like that which i completely understand you know i i click bait too and shit like that so that's how most of the gym girls make money how how do you guys make money so i personally have my own coaching business where i coach people into getting the best shape of their lives so that's where i make like half of my money i would say and then sponsorships is the where i make the rest of my money if you ever see me promoting a product or um like I'm signed with a company, which isn't a lot of people, which they like to say everyone's a sponsored athlete. That shit is not real. They just have an affiliate code or some shit. No one's sponsored. I came into this game and I was like, I will never do that 5% code shit ever, unless they're paying me a bag. Like a monthly or something? Right, yeah. So on the first of the month, I'm with two companies right now. And the first of the month, they wire me X amount of money and then my commissions for the last month. And it's fucking amazing, bro. First of the month, yeah, it was, it was a couple days ago. It's like, I'm in the best mood of the world on the first of the month. But yeah, then it just goes straight to my rent. So this is all your full-time job now, right? Yeah, I don't do nothing, bro. I do nothing all day. Yeah, that shit looks clean, bro. What do you think about that, Koki? Yeah. Yeah? It's fire. I love the apron. Apron's f swag. Purple's my favorite color, if you can't tell. What do you think of the big clothing brands in this space, like Young LA, Raw Gear, and stuff? Wait, 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 10 seconds. Wait 10 seconds. Yeah, so I don't wear gym brands. It's not my thing. I never will. I mean, if it's fucking fresh, like I used to wear, like I wear Young LA stringers. Like, from- Cause those are just fresh? Yeah, not, no, not OG fresh. Ones, yeah, from They're like just eight I. years ago. Oh. You know, a stringer's a stringer, you know what I mean? I don't give a fuck about that. I just think it's so tacky, bro. Before I was an influencer, or whatever, like, I don't label myself an influencer, bro. I just- What do you label yourself, a creator? No, nah, not even that, bro. I just put my life on the internet and people fuck with it. You know what I mean? Like, that's it. Like, people always say to me, they're like, yo, all you post about is working out and bitches. Like, I'm like, that's all I fucking do. <laughs> like, yo, all I do is work out, DM bitches, and try to fuck them. Yeah, that's it. That's all I do. How are you sliding into the DM? You can't just say that and then not elaborate. So, if any of you ever want to slide into a DM, my favorite thing is to just say you in LA. Cause like, that's like, you always want to ask a question. All right, this is Riz, Riz 101. Okay, Riz for dummies. If you are gonna, yeah, if you are gonna DM a girl, you have to ask a question. You cannot compliment them because they're just gonna either like it and say about, thank you. Okay, let's ask a question. So like you in LA, they want to fuck is that's, that could go How about will you marry have, me? You, have, you, have, you, have, you ever, have you ever said that? How about let's get married? Nah, nah, nah. Some girls don't like, I don't know, 99% of girls don't like the vulgar Riz. Some girls will, that will turn them on. How would that look in a screenshot? <laughs> right, right. Yeah, now I got a little bit of clout, so I can't be saying dumb shit, but like, I don't give a fuck. What are they gonna do? Send it into a group chat of fucking weirdos, you know? Like, Bryce Hall, Marshall Cruz. It's done? Yeah, with uh, four minutes left. Yeah, so you wanna fade my beard in four minutes? Yeah. So when are you planning on like settling down, or are you? I would love to have a girlfriend, man. I would love to, yeah. Well, my main priority on my list right now is to have two girlfriends and them know about each other. If I can't get that done, I just feel like that, I don't know, like, I just feel like that's like my main priority right now. But uh, like, Why? put it to you this way. Why? I don't know, Why? who can say that? So what's your, so what's your type? Like, who are you going after? Is it the gym girls who have the cameras up there? No, I could date a girl who doesn't go to the gym. Like the hottest girl I ever dated or fucked, she, uh, honestly, the probably my ex-girlfriend and this girl from LA, both of them didn't work out. They just did like Pilates and shit. As long as the girl, yeah, as long as the girl's in shape, I don't give a fuck. She don't have to go to the gym. My type is like, I like small, dark features, fat ass, obviously. Personality wise, knows when to shut the fuck up. Like, I love a submissive girl. Like, this is what I was kind of getting at. Just get her in the kitchen type of girl? Nah, I don't know, not like that. So like, yo, I cook for myself seven days, a week, uh, seven times a day, every single day. Seven times a day? Yeah, I eat seven meals a day, every single day. And before eating that meal, I cook it myself. I throw it in the air fryer and my rice cooker, obviously. It's nothing crazy. But like, bro, if I could have a girl to help me with one to two of those meals, helps me fold my laundry, fucks me or whatever and whenever I want, bro, doesn't have to lift a finger. I'll pay for her nails. I'll pay for her fucking hair. I'll pay for everything. All she has to do is help me a little bit. Give me like 10%, bro. That'd be the most perfect girlfriend for me. Fuck, time's up. I only finished one side with a beard. Oh, you're cooked, I guess. You know? So we're gonna leave it like this? Yep. Yeah. <laughs>
Based Body Works, shampoo restocking soon. If you want to get it, you got to be on the VIP list. It's coming out there first. Text, text shampoo. Lance, shut up. Text shampoo to 42420. You either get it or you just miss out. So, yeah. yeah and uh, subscribe right now or he's going to come find you. Possibly. And beat your ass. <laughs>